Hello and welcome to the 32nd tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at transforming vertex arrays. We'll be using the source code from the 31st tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Transforming is similar to texturing. The transform is not st stored in the vertex array. You pass, you, you must pass it to the draw function and uh, similar to, to texturing, you put it after your thing that you want to draw and also we're going to show you how to pass in a texture and a transformation because you can't just pass it in normally we'll show you what we mean okay so let's go ahead and open up our project and then what we're going to do uh, below everything we're going to do sf colon colon transform i'm just going to name it transform semicolon then i'm going to do transform dot and you can do you can do several different transformations, rotate, scale, translate, we're just going to stick with the rotate method, but they're obviously the other ones are there and they're very simple to use. So for the rotate, what we're going to do is put 45, and then what we're going to do is SF vector, colon on vector to F, and this sets the point that we want to rotate around. And we're putting 100 by 100 as the shape is almost 200 pixels wide so it's going to be pretty much in the center so now what we do is if we just go down to here instead of putting texture we're going to put transform run this application now we have our square or our vertex array drawn and it has been rotated but as you can see the texture is no longer visible so if you want to have a transformation and a texture what you need to do is use the render state SMR has these built in so what you do is sf render states just name where you want I'm going to call it states then do states dot transform assign it the transform and uh, which is transform then states dot texture sign in the texture and as we did in the draw function you have to do ampersand texture and then finally just go down instead of transform you just put states and what you'll see when we run the application you'll see a textured vertex array which has been rotated it is that simple to use transformations such as rotate scale translate and assign texture all at the same time using a render state. That is it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at introducing views. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at .uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.